Iranians bring down large pro-regime billboard in southern Iran. According to social media reports and reports by the state-run IRNA news agency, angry Iranians brought down a large billboard with images of the so-called shrine defenders, regime forces sent to fight for the Assad regime in Syria. On Tuesday, a large group of people in Andimashk in the southern province of Kurdistan brought down the large billboard and cheered as it fell. IRNA said that security forces fired in the air and used tear gas to disperse the angry crowds. Reports indicate that protesters blocked the road. Ordinary Iranians despise the regime's warmongering in the region and have chanted, leave Syria and think of us, in their street protests on many occasions as Iran spends billions in its proxy war in Syria. IRNA said that the reason behind the protest in Andimashk were disagreements on where the billboard should be installed. More threats against the mother of imprisoned labour activist. On Monday, February 18th, the family of imprisoned labour activist Esmail Bakshi and a group of workers from the Haftapar sugarcane factory gathered outside the Justice Bureau in the city of Shush in Kazakhstan province to protest against his continued arrest and the lack of information about his case. It was the second protest in as many days. A day earlier, Bakshi's mother and friends of the family had gone to the prosecutor's office to ask about him. When they failed to get any answers, they protested, which resulted in authorities issuing a warrant for his mother's arrest. When agents rushed towards her, she collapsed and was taken to the hospital in a critical condition. Iran extends travel ban on widow of environmentalists who died in prison. An Iranian state news agency says authorities have extended a travel ban on the widow of an Iranian-Canadian environmentalist who died in prison last year after being arrested on suspicion of espionage. IRNA quoted a lawyer for Mariam Mulvaney saying in a Tuesday interview that he had gone to a Tehran court on Sunday to seek an end to the year-long ban imposed on the widow of environmentalist Kavos Sayad Amami. The lawyer told IRNA that a court official had informed him that the travel ban on Mulvaney had been extended. There is no word from Iranian state media as to why she has been barred from leaving Iran. Top Friday prayer leader resigns, putting an end to speculations. On Monday, February 18th, the Friday prayer leader of Avaz, the capital of oil-rich Kurdistan province in Iran, has resigned. Jazeri is considered a close ally of Iran regime's supreme leader, Ali Khamenei. His absence from official events during the past two weeks has led to rumours about his death, but his office issued a statement on February 12th saying that the 78-year-old cleric was in good health and was visiting England to expand on the ideals of the Islamic Revolution. This led to a lot of speculation in Persian language media and jokes on social media about his missionary trip to Britain. It also led to criticism of state-sponsored mullahs occasionally visiting Europe for medical reasons, while most Iranians can never visit the West and never obtain a visa to do so.